All right, people, welcome to the Stuff Zone. If you're new, um, yeah, this is gonna be an interesting one. This is um, this is a banger. This thing really works amazingly well. Uh, I, I kind of knew that it was gonna be great, but or I knew it was gonna be good, but I didn't know it was gonna be this good. Okay, um, this is Novastella Floodlight, 100 watts. They have different wattage options yeah i think they have the 60 maybe the 40 and uh, i was just like oh what the heck let's go with the 100 and you know, it kicks ass man it's like i'm kind of a little bit scared to put it on right now inside my place because it's about to be really lit um let's talk about the design the um This folds down like this, so it can be very compact. You can put it in a bag. I have two of them, and um, as you can see with one hand, it's it's stuck. But that's a good thing because you want it to put it into position, and then it's gonna just kind of like be there. Okay, so there it is, like so. The wire is quite short. Okay, maybe just like a four foot wire so i'm going to plug it in to an extension cord before i do my demonstration and um straight out the gate we have the solid blue now as you can see or as you could see before i turned it on there was no buttons or knobs so the way that you control this bad boy is with a remote control. And if you lose this thing, you're assed out, um, just so you know. And it takes um, two AAA batteries, I believe. Yep, two AAAs. Um, now, I'm gonna attempt to show you what I've figured out so far. I know that the, I'm not 100% sure about the random programming that you can do but I'll, I'll like i said i'll show you what i know so these buttons here at the bottom very straightforward and simple if you want it to be white uh, and you actually it, it kind of just worked because i'm so close but if you're far away you need to point it at the at the light it's not going to just kind of work if, if you have it in the wrong direction um, so there's a white there's the red, the orange, the yellow, green, light blue, dark blue. That's the setting that I like. And purple. Okay, so there's your basic colors, solid. There's a plus and minus. This actually goes with the brightness. So right now is at the lowest brightness setting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how this is translating on the, the video, but even the low setting is quite bright, but I'm gonna hit the plus now. Oh, wait a second, I take that back. So this is actually to control the speed of the strobe, the plus and minus. If you wanna control the brightness, it's here on the left side, okay? So this one on the bottom here is all the way low, and then this one, it's like the sun. It's really freaking bright, man. But the crazy thing about it is, is I've had, you know, when I've had these on for quite some time, I'll go to it and I'll check and I'll touch it and it's cold, which is great. It's great to know that it's not like one of those things that is like super hot and overheating. It's like, yo, I mean, I know that I just turned it on, so it is cold. But like, even if I were to leave it on for an hour or, you know, all day, it still almost kind of feels the same. So shout out to Nova Stella for making such a great light. Um, so let's turn it down so that I can actually see what the remote control says. Up top, we have this color wheel, which is basically just another way to access the solid colors. I guess you can get more gradual by adding different shades. You can see here I am touching the corners. 
So I just pushed it in the center. And it's kind of cycling through all the different variations. But in my opinion, this is kind of redundant, you know, like if I want, <laughs> if I want a color, I'm just going to grab it down here at the bottom. So I never use this, this color wheel here at the top. Here's the on off buttons on off. If you want to have the device completely off on off. And then there's timers here. So, and it kind of gives that little flicker to let you know that it's been activated. I guess this means that it will shut off after three hours or shut off after six hours, depending on how you set it. Now, this is great if you are, uh, have these outside. They're mainly, I mean, this is really an outside light. So when you're setting up for like Christmas time and you want to put it on and then you want them to shut off around midnight, depending on what time you, you know, you, you set them up. This is a, a way to have them turn off automatically by themselves. And then we have this row here and then these hearts. And well, I do know what one of these things do. Wait a second, what does this say? So here's the strobe button, like I said. And now right now it's kind of strobing through, I think, well, let's go. We're gonna slow it down a little bit. So it looks like it's strobing all on white. Here's red, I just set it to, and then we're gonna hit strobe again. Let's increase the speed by hitting the plus. So here's a red strobe. Here's the, as fast as it'll go. It looks like popo. And let's turn it down a little bit. There's a slower strobe. Okay, so that's what the strobe button does. If you hit strobe again, it's just always on strobe, okay? So it's not like it'll go solid. If you want solid, then you just hit the color, okay? Now next to strobe, we have smooth. So it is strobing, wait a second, but it's kind of like filtering. Let's go back to red and strobe. I'm not sure why it's changing colors. If anyone knows about this, please leave it in the comments below because I'm still trying to figure this out. Oh, wait a second, that says smooth, but fade. This is what I was looking for. So I, yeah, I, wait, no. Fade. I want it to fade, but only stay red. I don't want it to cycle. And then that's when you get over to this button where it says uh, DIY, do it yourself, jump. Because I, I think I was reading the manual a little bit, like you're able to hold this down and then select the colors that you want. And then it should only cycle between those, but I haven't figured it out yet. And then I think you're able to actually save it into these heart presets. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, you know, like I said, um, I wish there was more information out there, but that's all I've been able to figure out so far. If, you know, if I use this more in the future and figure it out, maybe I'll make an update, but that's where I'm at with it so far. But I just wanted y'all to get the gist of the, the power of this light, the portability of this light, uh, the coolness of this light, that it's not too hot. And I love the, like I said, the strobe version. And you can mess with the speed. And then, or I can just have it solid. And that's pretty much what I use it for. I don't need like a rainbow party uh, of cycling through different colors. Um, that's it, y'all. If you're still watching, give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I talk about a lot of different random stuff. Um, but yeah, link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.